Hello everyone, we are now in the next stage of our Flash Puppet. This is also one of my favorite parts, where you can put expressions to your puppet. First thing is first, let's do the blinking first. There are many different ways to make your character blink, some people prefers making fast blinking for their puppets. Others prefer slow blinking, a normal blink requires 7 or 8 keyframes, but that depends on your liking. You should make another layer inside the eyelash symbol, and this layer should stay at the bottom of the eyelash layer. This layer will be the skin color. We don't want our masks and other stuff being visible, so we have to cover everything. As you can see, the eye is closing, and part of the sclera is visible. Copy and paste in place the color beneath the eyelash layer. Then, copy the eyelash in the current keyframe and paste in place in the color layer. Once you paste it, remove the color inside. Before removing the eyelash that is in the bottom layer, make sure the eyelash that is at the top is hidden or blocked, so you don't remove the wrong eyelash. Repeat the same process with the rest of the keyframes. If you want to save time, you can copy and paste the layers. It should only take two keyframes showing the eye opening and one keyframe of the eye being stretched wide open for a smooth transition. Here I'm doing another blinking example, the process is the same. You can do different types of blinking, angry, sad, etc. Once we are done, we can proceed with something different. Maybe doing some different eyelashes would be helpful. Sometimes Garu doesn't have his eyebrows. There is an easy way to hide your eyebrows without deleting the symbol. Choose any color and make a small shape where the eyebrow was before. Then, after making the shape, low its opacity to zero. Now let's make some new eyebrows. I'll make a sad and surprised eyebrows for Garu.
I would also recommend making a layer beneath the eyebrow. This can be our skin color layer. In case you want to move the eyebrow lower than the eyelash, the eyelash would not be visible. You can also make a layer for the cheek, then convert it into a symbol. Next, lip sync, I'll first add some simple examples from the show. I know this character does not talk at all, but it comes handy when making expressions or reactions. When you're doing lip sync, make sure the character includes both happy and sad syncs. You can also follow the examples from Google, it is really helpful if you're planning to make your character talk. I think Adobe Animate has a feature where you can assign the lip sync so you don't animate the mouth afterwards. I don't really recommend it since it will end up looking off and robotic, so it is better to do it by ourselves. Now it is time for the fun part, we are going to practice some expressions for Garu. We are going to use some of the new stuff we have created. This can be perfect as concept art, since not every character shares same personality. You can make a new keyframe by dragging the entire frame from a keyframe and moving it to the front. I'll start with a simple expression. Maybe smiling while waving the hand.
Thanks a lot for watching, sorry if some parts of the video were confusing. I'm not really good at explaining stuff, so I prefer showing it visually. I still love to help and explain stuff to other animators, I hope this tutorial was helpful for you all. The next tutorial is the last tutorial, and it's where things will get pretty fun. We are going to start animating our puppets, and trust me, it will take a lot of time depending on what we are animating. But don't worry, I'll make it really easy and simple, 